Today we're going to use our easy, quick, five minute homemade pie crust dough to make some caramel apple pie. I'm not big on desserts or sweets, but this apple pie has my heart. The secret to making the apple pie even more tastier is in the sauce that we're going to make for the apple filling. It just takes 10 extra minutes, but it will take your apple pie to a whole different level of awesomeness. The crust is flaky and buttery. The filling is caramelly sweet with just the right crunchiness in the apple. It's a perfect combo for a yummy dessert. For more amazing recipes that you can make easily at home, do follow us by subscribing to our channel. And for even more easy recipes for everyday cooking, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. For the apple pie filling, to a pot add 3 tablespoons of butter. Once it melts, we'll add 8 green apples that are cut into cubes. This is around 1.2 kgs of apple. 2 third cup of brown sugar, 1 teaspoon of cinnamon powder and start mixing. You can use white sugar as well but I like the color brown sugar gives and it's slightly more healthier option. As you mix, you see the sugar starts to melt. Now we'll cover this and cook for 5 minutes on a medium low heat. Then we open it and give it a mix. You can see some sugary liquid would have been released. Now to this we will add 1 and a half teaspoons of cornstarch so the sauce slightly thickens. Mix this and cook for 2 minutes. We want the apples to soften a bit while still having a crunch. After 2 minutes, switch off the gas and we will take to drain the apples. There will be quite a bit of liquid that we will get from this. Tap it so all of the liquid is drained out. Now we will put this liquid back into the pot and we have to cook this till it thickens. You see how watery the sauce is right now? We'll cook this on a medium high heat till it gets a caramelly texture. The cornstarch that we added before will help in thickening. The sauce is what will give the filling a caramel taste that goes amazingly well with the apples. You can see how thick the sauce has gotten now. Switch off the gas at this stage and let this cool for 10 minutes. Now we will add our reduced sauce to our half cooked apples and mix well so the apples and our caramel sauce blend in together nicely. Keep this aside while we roll out our pie. I'm using our homemade pie crust dough here. This is super super easy and takes just 5 minutes. Do check out its recipe, link is right above and also in the description below. After dusting our work surface with flour, we will start rolling out our pie dough. It's very natural for it to crack on the sides as you roll. You can patch it up with your fingers very easily. This will go as the bottom of the pie, so we want the size of the pie to be bigger than that of the casserole you're using with thickness of about one fourth of an inch. Now the easiest way to place this rolled out dough on the casserole is to place your rolling pin at the end of the dough and roll the dough onto the rolling pin and then roll it and place it carefully on the casserole. Tuck it in so it sits well and makes a good bed for our filling. Fill it with our caramel apple filling and even it out. We'll keep this aside while we roll out the other disc of the pie crust. Roll it out to the same dimensions. Now to get that classic crisscross pie crust, I'm going to use a pizza cutter and cut it into strips. You can even use a knife to do this. The thickness and number of strips is your choice here. Now place the shortest strips at the ends of the pie, going in with the longest strip at the center. Now we'll arrange the other half of the strips horizontally. For that, fold two alternate strips halfway up and place one strip horizontally. Put the folded strip back and fold the other alternate ones and place another strip horizontally. Then we do the exact same thing on the other half. Once done, you can cut off any extra parts of the strips that are hanging out. Then tuck the edges in together of the bottom and the top crust. Make it look all neat and nice, pressing the edges so it evenly bakes. Brush the top along with the edges with egg and sugar mix. 
to get a nice color on the crust. Now we'll bake this for 45 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Then we reduce to 170 degrees Celsius and bake for 10 minutes. Once it is out of the oven, the filling will be piping hot. So patiently let it cool down for 30 to 40 minutes. Look how beautiful that crust looks. It tastes even better. The apples in the filling are soft yet have a crunch to them and the slight sourness of the green apples tastes perfect with the caramel sauce. All of this with the flaky, buttery, crunchy pie crust. It's a burst of flavors and textures in your mouth. If you liked this apple pie, please do give this video a like. We also have a butter chicken pie recipe that's made using the same homemade pie crust dough. If I may say, the butter chicken pie is better than the apple pie. I'm a total savory person, so I like it better. You let us know in the comments what do you like more, a sweet pie or a savory pie. Have a great rest of the week and I will see you very soon.